of a flame of fire. Was as a flame of fire. They were red. What color is fire? Red. Orange, right? Is his eyes red? No. That's strike two. Read on. And his feet. And his who? And, and his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now your feet are the same color as the rest of your body. Now watch what it says. Read on. Like unto fine brass. Like unto who? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass, young brother? What is it? Not green. Like what color is a penny? It's like a the color of a penny. What color is that? Orange is it's it's a it's a brown it's a brown color, right? Now watch what it says, right? Brass is a brown color. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they're burned in a furnace. So you're talking about a black man? He he had black brown, brown black skin. Does this man have brown black skin? No, that's strike three. So who the heck is this then? Where did they get this image from? Give me 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. So Christ, this is not Christ, brother. They lied to us. I thought the same, I thought this was Christ until I was 21 years old. Christ is not a white man. Christ did not have stringy hair. He had woolly hair. Feel the top of your head. Rub the top of your head real quick. That's what wool feels like. It's like sheep's hair. We are the only people on this earth that have that type of hair. Right. So this can't be Christ, right? Read, read what you got. Watch what the Bible says. Let's see who this is. Read. Mr. Book of First Maccabees, uh -huh. chapter three and verse forty-eight. Right. Read. And laid open the book of the law. Right. Read. But when the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of fair images. Right. So the heathen, the so-called white man, opened our book and painted images that looked like him. So they took our Bible, they read it and said, you know what? We're going to make the angels white. We're going to make the babies white. We're going to make Christ white. We're going to make God white. None of these people were white men, right? They were black men. They were just like us. They looked like us. And a lot of, a lot of, oh, you understand that now? And a lot of these brothers who are 30 and 40 years old can't understand that, brother, right? So Revelation chapter one, next time you go back to church, tell them, say, you know what? I heard that Christ is a black man. Is that true? I want you to prove to me in the Bible, right, that he's either black or white. I'm proving to you that he's a black man right now. So tell them to prove to you that he's a white man. You understand? So these things are very important for you, young brother. You understand? Right? So no eating pork, right? You got to remember to keep the Sabbath day, right? I know that's going to be hard for you, right? Your, your mom or your dad buy you food. Tell them, say, hey, mom, I don't, I don't want to eat pepperoni today. I'd rather just eat my pizza with cheese. Or you can eat it with meatloaf. You can eat beef. You can eat chicken, right? You can do anything else but no pork and no shrimp either. Right? You eat shrimp? No? Good, good. What about crab or lobster? Yeah? So you can't eat that as well, right? All right, look, look. He said, oh, man, that was good, though. I understand, brother, but you got to put these things aside. Remember, the love of God is the most important thing that you have on this earth. Without the love of God, you can't grow. You see a lot of young brothers, you see all these brothers, like what? what's your favorite artist right now? Who do you listen to when it comes to music? Name a name like three artists. Nobody's brother, you listen to like Kodak? No Kodak, okay, come on. What about NBA Young Boy? Juice World? Oh, okay, hallelujah. Clap it up, hallelujah. Clap it up for this brother, man. Hallelujah, keep it that way, brother, because you know, they get to the minds of our young children and they poison your mind. Right? So brother, do you have any questions for us? I mean, I I, I, I got more scriptures man, if you want to stay. You know what I mean? You got to go. I, are you on YouTube at, at all? You go on YouTube? So I'll give you a flyer. You got you gave him a flyer? So if you get take that flyer, our YouTube is on there. Every now and then, you can tune in um, and you can look on our YouTube. It's called The Light of Zion. Yeah. Yeah, tell your parents like, listen mom, I, I learned from these brothers. They seem like very good brothers. They said they want me to be a strong man, right? And I want to congregate with these brothers, right? Our school, our church, our church is right down the street, brother, right? And this is very important for you. It's better that you give your life to the Lord now than to get jacked up like all these older men, all right? You understand that? All right, so, but I'll let you go. I love you, brother. Just remember that. Just keep the commandments, all right? Hallelujah, brother. I love you, man, all right? All praises, man. And that's what it's all about, man. That thing gave me goosebumps, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right? That's what it's all about. Right? We got all these men out here, and we got one young brother who's 12 years old, and he stopped to hear the words of the Lord. Right? Lord knows what that brother will turn into in the next five to ten years. Right? 
Lord knows that I, I pray that the Most High gives increase to that seed we just planted. Right? Because God knows that this generation is destroyed. This generation is nothing but, full, it's full of degenerates, man. It's full of men that want to be rebellious against the laws of the Lord. It's full of men that want to give in to the uh, fleshly desires of this world. Right? You men don't want to see the uprising of your nation. The uprising of your women, the uprising of your children, man. All you want to do is make yourself feel good. How selfish can you be, man? Right? How selfish can you be? Give me Luke chapter 14, verse 23. A couple more scriptures, man. Right? Luke 14, 23. Let's see what that say. Because the brothers say, oh, why y'all coming down here? Why y'all bothering us every weekend? Why y'all keep talking about God? Why are you talking about God? Right? Read what you got, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. Read. And the Lord said unto the servant, uh -huh. Go out into the highways. Do what? Go out into the highways and hedges. He said, Go out into the highways and hedges. That's what we do, man. That's right. We go out into the highways and hedges. Read on. And compel them. And to, do what? And, and compel, compel them. them. Do what? And, and compel, compel them. them. The scripture said, Go out to the highways and byways and to the roads and force them. That's what the word compels means, man. Right? A lot of people say, oh, why y'all forcing me? The Bible says compel them, force them into, read on, and compel them to come to, into me. Uh-huh. That my house will be filled. That his what? That my house will be filled. We're trying to fill up the Lord's house, man. Right. But you don't want to be in the Lord's house. You think you got it all figured out. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. You think you got it all figured out. Working 50 hours a week ain't figuring it out, man. Working as a slave, as a servant in your own world, Ain't working out for you, man. Because what? This is what you want to do. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Right, read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Read that again, man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Read off. And lean not uh -huh. unto thine own understanding. It says, and lean not upon thine own understanding. Because a lot of brothers say, I don't believe in the Bible. It was written by a white man. This same book condemns the so-called white man. Right. The white man is going into slavery, thus saith the Most High. Right. For what he's done to the children of Israel, for what he's done to the so-called Jamaicans in that land. You think he got away with that? Right? You still carry the names of your slave masters, man, and you think you free. Right? Yeah, yeah, pro-black, I'm Jamaican. Fly, flying the gold, the, the, the green, the black. Proudly, man. You flying a white man's flag. Right? You flying that's something that don't even belong to you. Right? All these things happen because you disobeyed the laws of God. Right? Give me Sirach 17 and 25 and I'll close it out with that, man. Right? Y'all don't believe in God, man. That's why y'all spirit so vexed when we come out here. Because if you truly believe in God, you will clap us on, man. You will cheer us on. Matter of fact, you will be up here with us. But you don't you don't believe in God, man. Trust me. And guess what? The most high is recording that. Yeah, you try to flick us away, the most high recording that. The most high looking at you right now. But you be careful. You be careful. Remember what I said. But you gonna remember these same words tonight, brother. Read what you got, man. This is the book of Shirek, chapter 17, verse 20. Right, with all that cursing, all that yin yang, like you tough, man. Read what you got. Return unto the Lord. What does God say? Return, Return unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord. I'm gonna come out here and stay on that boat, man. Cause a lot of brothers talk about you ain't going to sit strong with that noise. We go around wherever we please, man. That's right. We got the angels with us. That's right. We got That's the right. Lord with us. That's right. And I say that proudly. You're not looking at no punks and you ain't looking at no weak men, man. Right? Read what you got again, man. Start over. Return unto the Lord. Say it again. Return yeah. unto the Lord. What does God say to these brothers? Return, return unto, unto the Lord. Lord. What does God say to these brothers? Return, return unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord. Say return unto the Lord. You're not with the Lord right now, man. Read on. And forsake thy sins. And forsake your sins. Forsake the ways that go against the Lord. Read on. Make thy prayer before his face. Make your prayer before the Lord's face, man. That's what we come out to do. You're not looking at T.D. Jakes and Joel Osteen. I'm not coming out here to speak to you softly. I'm coming out here to speak to you as a man. And raise you up. Pull up your pants. Take care of your woman. Take care of your children. Right? Learn a skill. Learn a label, man. And build your nation. Right? Right? And with that being said, I'm going to say shalom to the house of Israel and hallelujah. Hallelujah.